Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Lenya and in today's video tutorial, we are going to be exposing yet another kick secret system that the professionals use to get themselves out of some complicated safety. Of course, there are lots of examples online where professional pool players use this system to their advantage whenever they get seriously hooked behind an object ball whether you're playing nine ball ten ball or eight ball and so this system is so so reliable that you definitely want to log on tune in and learn this system i learned this system about five years ago and it has never failed me of course the purpose of this system when kicking at an object ball that is completely hooked is of course it tends to cause a bit of separation between the cue ball and the object ball sending the object ball in one direction and keeping the object the cue ball in the area to which you had kicked the object ball all right so of course you're gonna have the cue ball um, maybe hitting the object ball a bit thin a bit thick depending on how much of the object ball you hit then the cue ball will retain less or more of its energy of course this is a fantastic system and i never wanted to continue making videos without letting you know what the system is about so we're going to be looking at the very basic diamond system of course this is some sort of extension of the plus two system well not the plus two system but it's an extension of the system to which you kick at the side rail the end rail and come back to this side rail here all right so it's an extension of this system which i'm going to be explaining to you in details so if this is your first time here on the channel consider smashing that subscribe button below turning on your post notification bell consider dropping a like on the content and do not forget to share this out to your pool communities families and friends let's add some more power to our kick game so we can get ourselves out of some more complicated safeties let's get it let's go all right guys so as you see here on the table we have a couple of balls that are set in strategic position of course the aim of the video is to highlight the use of the system there are going to be more complicated situations where it's not set exactly as this but once you know how the system works you should be able to do a little bit of parallel shifting a little bit of adjustments on the rail the cue ball is going to be placed at specific diamond intersections so as you can see how the system really works i have an extra ball here that i'm going to be using as my blocker ball to to basically stop myself from seeing the object ball completely all right so here we go so the first kick shot that we're going to be making here is that we're going to be going three rails by the title it is a three reel escape system i'm going to be going three rails and i'm going to be trying to kick the one from behind so the cue ball is going to be catching this rail here this rail this rail and then we're going to be entering into the object ball from behind and so as i said once the cue ball contacts the object ball the object ball will be sent down in that direction and the cue ball will be stay will, will be in this area give or take if there are obstacle balls on the table then you're going to find that most of the time you get or you receive your opponent so here we go the first thing you want to do here is understand the system for the two rails so here of course the pocket from which you're aiming here is 50 all right all right so this is 50 as we go on to the short rail 60 70 80 all right so 50 it's like the corner five system the conti system a link will be provided in the description below for you to understand why we name this pocket 50 and as we go here we're going to have 45 40 35 30 25 20 15 okay that is basically the diamond numberings for the cue ball the object ball basically is just going to be numbered 10 20 30 40 depending on where it's laid out so here we go so the first thing that we want to know is what is the distance of the object ball from the side rail all right how much diamond increments is the object ball from the side rail so we're looking at this distance here and based on what you're seeing here you can see that the object ball which is the one ball here 
is a half a diamond away from the side rail yes now we also want to calculate what is the diamond distance of the object ball from the short rail so we're going to be measuring along the side rail here so this is going to be one diamond two diamonds three diamonds here so that's one diamond two diamond three diamonds so we are half a diamond which is 0.5 away from the side rail and we're three diamonds down from the short rail so if we take a half from say three we get 2.5 so the entrance point into the back of the one is going to be at 2.5 we can make it the calculation a bit easier by multiplying the contact spot by 10 so instead of saying 2.5 which is a lot harder to calculate we say 25 all right so 2.5 25 3.5 is 35 2 is 20 1 is 10 1.5 is 15 that sort of stuff yeah so let's say that i am completely hooked let's say i am completely blocked here all right from the one and i do not see any other option and let's say that i am on the 60 track line here so this is 50 this is 60 and i'm completely blocked i'm gonna have to go one two rails three rails and kick the one from behind so here we go i'm gonna make sure that this is completely blocked i'm completely hooked probably gonna get the nine ball out of the way for demonstration here and let's say that i'm on the 60 track line here i know that Based on my calculation, half diamond from the side rail, three diamonds down from the short rail, I know that my contact spot here is 25. So if I subtract 25 from 60, well, I should get 35. So if I'm here, if I aim at 35, all right, if I aim at 35 from 60, I should be able to go three rails and hit the back of the one. Let's see how that goes. So 60. 35 okay set it up 35 and let's see if we can get into the back of the one that's beautiful and so we have made contact with the one another object ball has contacted the race so we have a Avoid giving ball in hand from a really complicated position and that is how the system works. Isn't that fantastic? Let's have a look at a few more examples. Alright guys, so now we're going to be trying to play three reels to make contact with the two. Again, I'm going to be using my blocker ball here and I'm going to be blocking this two ball completely. Alright, and I'm going to imagine that there are no more real contacts. I can't go one real, I can't go two real. Alright, in this case, of course, I could go one, two reels. But we're just looking at trying to go three reels behind the two ball. Alright, so let's put this here at 50. Alright, let's put it in the corner. Let's say that you're hooked in the corner. You cannot see the two ball here. Alright, so a nice row would be one, two, three reels into the back of the two. So the two ball is a full diamond from the side rail and it is also two diamonds down from the short rail so a full diamond from the side rail two diamonds down from the short rail so if i subtract if i subtract this diamond which is one from two i will get one two minus one is one so i know that the entrance point into the back of the two would be around the first diamond here which is the number one diamond here okay again once you get this value here you just simply multiply it by 10 okay and then once you're here we know that we need to contact 10 in order to make contact so if i take 10 away from 50 i should get 40 so if i aim here at 40 then i should be able to go three rails in behind the two Let's see how this works. Beautiful. Imagine if this was a situation after being in such a complicated safety or complicated position 
you were able to go three rails, contact the two, have another ball touch the rail, and get a snooker like this. Wouldn't you feel fantastic? Great shot. Let's have a look at example number three. So again, now we're just going to be looking at example number three here. We're going to be going three rails to go into the back of the three. Again, I'm going to be using my blocker ball here to completely block myself from seeing the three ball. So first example, I was at diamond 60. Second example, I was at diamond 50. Let's go to diamond 70 and see what can happen. All right, and you can experiment with this on the practice table, guys. Just place the object ball at the same position, move from diamonds to diamonds, and then see how the calculation works. So here, I'm just randomly selecting diamonds. So three ball, let's check it. The three ball here is approximately a diamond and a half away from the side rail. And it is approximately, again, three diamonds down from the short rail. So that is one, two, three. So we have three diamonds down and we are one and a half diamonds out. So 1.5 from three is 1.5. 1.5 multiplied by 10 is 15. Remember, once you get the value, you multiply it by 10 so as to make the calculation easier. So I know that the entrance point into the back of the three here is gonna be around this direction here, 15. Now, let's say for example, I am actually at 70. Okay, let's say I'm at 70. Should I be able to contact the three here if I take 15 away from 70, I am going to get 55. So this is 40, this is 50, fifth diamond, 55 is here, near to the sixth ball here, so this is 55. So if I will see, for example, here at the 70 diamond, and I aim here at 55, then I should be able to go three rails into the back of the three. Let's have a look at this example. Well, I avoided ball in hand, but I actually sold out because now my opponent has a clear shot at the three. This is not the exact situation that you would be in in an actual game, but at least you were able to get out of that complicated safety. Isn't this a great system? Let's have a look at example number four. All right, guys. So now example number four, now again, we're going to be going three reels once again. Let's use our blocker ball here and snook ourselves from the four. Again, just imagine guys that there's no way to touch the four except to go through the angles. This is a very complicated shot and a lot of things can go wrong. But what can you say if you're in a really tough position and you have to try to just make contact with the four, sometimes that's all it takes to get a bit lucky. Then this system comes in very, very handy. So let's have a look. What I'm gonna do here is that I'm just gonna pretty much just not make the shot so complicated. Let's just go in between a diamond, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go in between the 60 diamond and the 70th diamond, which is about 65. So that's where I'm gonna leave my cue ball to show you that the system works in between diamond increments. Once again, my four ball here is approximately, as you can see here, two diamonds away from the side rail. And it is now what? Four diamonds down from the short rail. So that is one, two, three, four. So two diamonds out, four diamonds down, take two from four, and you're gonna get two. So once again, I know that my entrance point into the back of the four is around the second diamond here. I need to figure out how do I get to that second diamond there from diamond 6.5 or diamond 65. So all I have to do is take 20 away from 65, and that tells me that I should be able to aim at diamond 45 that is in between diamond 40 and 50, diamond 45, and I should be able to go three rails and make a contact with the four. Fantastic system this is. So here we go. Oh, that was a fantastic shot. I didn't see the car on, but we got lucky. We're on the five, could be on the six. It's not an actual situation, guys, but that was fantastic. A very, very tough shot, three reels, getting lucky, carrying off the obstacle ball. 
or the blocker ball into the side we got lucky i did not intend to play that shot into the side but it works out fine that of course adds a bit of interesting shot to our, to our arsenal's up shot so really really nice shot there let's have a look at example number five all right again guys so what i'm going to do here is that i'm just going to place the diamond here i'm going to be placing my cue ball here at say about 60 all right not trying to make the shots too complicated so now i have a blocker shot here completely blocked and again just let's imagine guys that there's a lot of obstacle on the table and we of course just only have a couple of routes here there could be a blocker ball here there could be a blocker ball here and the only way let's actually set this up let's set this up guys to show you how realistic it can be all right so let's have a ball here to block the one real kick let's have a ball here to block the five all right and let's perhaps get another ball here and to block the one reel here so our five ball is in a complicated position here okay just to set up a little complicated situation all right we're going to be breaking up that cluster but we're hoping to get lucky all right so here we are approximately say five diamonds i need to push this down a little bit okay all right here we go guys so we are five diamonds down from the short reel or in fact we are now let's say one diamond from the side reel and we are now five diamonds down from the short reel so if we take one diamond one from five we should get four that tells me that if i can get my cue ball in towards the back of the side pocket here then my entrance comes into the back of the five is around here so hopefully we can get a bit fortunate and make a contact and get ourselves out of a complicated safety so here we go we're doing well so far guys aren't we yes we are so we need to figure out how to get to 40 from 60 40 from 60 20 pardon me yes 40 from 60 is 20 so that tells me that i need to aim at the 20 them here okay all right so here we go guys not going to put as much spin i actually forgot to tell you that all multi-reel systems are played with running sides with the exception of the system where we are aiming to the back of the side pocket we don't use one o'clock we just use maybe a half tip so that shot that you see, saw i played where i played to the back of the side pocket to hit the four ball that shot did not use as much spin but for the other shots i've always been using one o'clock spin in this case all right so here we go the five ball 60 i'm gonna aim at 20 so here we go 20 to 40 should get us into the back of the five touch the rail guys let's touch the rail there we go of course we got ourselves out of a really tough situation yes of course it's a really good kick bad sellout but we didn't give up a ball in hand to make the situation uh, easier for our opponent all right so here we go final example we're going to be extending this three rail kick to where we can actually play a three rail escape safety hitting this rail all the way over here Let's have a look at that example all right guys so now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be trying to make a contact with the six really really tough position completely snookered here all right let's see that the six was a little bit off the rail all right we're completely snookered and the only way let's say that we have a blocker ball here okay let's use a stripe just to make the situation a bit more realistic so let's see that we have a blocker ball here all right it's a tough position we need to make contact with the six the only way to make contact with this six ball without giving up ball in hand is to actually go three rails so let's see if we can use this system to our advantage so we are let's say six diamonds down from the short rail okay all right we are actually a complete one two three four diamonds we are four diamonds from the side rail and we are six diamonds down from the short rail okay so if we take say four from six we get two so that tells me that i need to contact hopefully here i need to contact the 20th diamond here to have a chance at touching the six 
all right making the situation as complicated as possible top top shot guys top top shot and let's see that we are snookered into the corner pocket here so we just need to make contact with 20 to top six taking 20 away from 50 we get 30 and so that's what we're going to be doing here okay we're not going to be using any spin going around the angles let's see how this works out guys is not perfect perfect barely escaping we just contacted the six just before the 15. we got ourselves out of a complicated snooker and nicely we haven't left our opponent with an easy shot sixth wonderful examples of how this powerful three reel SK system works something that you want to definitely put time on the mathematics in the first part is going to be a little bit complicated but for the most part you're going to get this system hands down all right i i, I hope you enjoy this video i hope you will learn something and definitely it has worked for me over the years and i'm sure it will work for you so without further ado, let's end this video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share the content out to your pool community, friends, and family. And let's get more power added to our game. This is Apex Selenius signing out from the Apex Predator Billions. See you soon in another tutorial video. Bye.